one of my greatest dreams have come true, is to be able to paint a picture of a perfect creature. It is like seeing a flower bloom, like a tree growing, a tree that can show the world the greatest example of humanity. Frank Walter was in no way confined by the physical limitations of this world. Frank Walter lived in another world. Frank wrote about other worlds, other universes, visions, and he lamented in conversation, in writing, about missing that world. Scholars have taken a great interest in how this work actually leads to a kind of lexicon of psychiatry and an understanding of the cosmos and kind of what are the boundaries of genius and brilliance. There's no magic unless you have something like art. It satisfied the insatiable desire which cannot be satisfied materially. He was very much like the beautiful mind, if you ever saw that movie. He just used art as his primary means of expression. He was also a writer. Um, I don't know if you can see over here, this is his autobiography, which is about 8,000 pages long. And he also created an archive that's over 50,000 pages. So what was important to us about the selection of this artist was that it showed Antigua and Barbuda as a place of deep compassion and tolerance for all kinds of people, differently abled people and people from different races, cultures and backgrounds, and to portray an artist who was a genius, who had significant mental challenges. The artist was homeless and institutionalized and incarcerated. It was wonderful to, to watch people come into the, to the pavilion and to see his work and to watch them be so surprised that this man could take could put such a huge universe into those tiny spaces. Tiny spaces that just teemed with activity of people and the landscape and the history. It was a good place to be and a good place to have his work shown. A lot of music which will follow will help to break down those sugars by the right phonic vibrations which will produce an electrical change and exchange in the body. Some of his most beautiful writing is about being in a mental institution and seeing people who were really suffering. And it was actually in these institutions that he started to develop a, what he called therapeutic music. from the place where he ended up spending the last 20 years of his life, Frank Walter painted. And he painted landscapes that brought you right back to Scotland, to England. And it's a kind of immediacy and an almost an urgency that he spent the rest of his life processing that experience. When we would go up and visit Frank, we would review his paintings and we would ask him questions. And it was very interesting because when I would show him a painting of a person of color who actually looked a lot like Frank, he would say, what do you mean? That can't be me. Don't be ridiculous. That's a black man. And his self-portraits were always of white people. And I found this interesting. And he would say, I'm not black. I'm not white. I'm Europoid. It was quite fascinating. Um, I, never, I never judged Frank in any way other than someone who was absolutely brilliant. <laughs>